Hey guys, welcome back to the conclusion of my Ether One collectible guy. We're going to Pinwheel Village. Now, just a couple quick notes here. Uh, loading in here, at least uh, through this way, is kind of caused me some issues. It took about five to ten minutes to load. So if you think the game froze, just let it go, and uh, eventually you should load in. Uh, it's also worth mentioning you should make many manual saves uh, along the way, just because this game has some issues with crashing and whatnot. But let's go take a look at the projectors. Uh, the first one is here on the docks near the export pinwheel export, and we're going to go into this orange house, and then we're going to go over to this blackboard here, and. And on the top we're going to type in Plymouth and on the bottom we're going to type in New Jersey. Now I'm going to show you all five uh, projectors, how to restore each of them. And then after that I'm going to show you all the ribbon locations, the knocker statues, the uh, plaque location as well as the uh, voicemail locations as well. So I'm just going to do the projectors first and then we'll kind of make a, a separate run for each of those uh, towards the end of this video. Once we get this uh, this done here, we're going to go all the way upstairs because we need to get a hammer. And then we're going to use that hammer a little bit later in this puzzle. But we do need to go grab it here first. So just follow the stairs up. Uh, there's going to be a safe here. The combination in, uh, of the safe is located in the drawer in the desk, uh, the desk behind me. But we're just going to go skip right to it here and type in 04. Five, one. And we're going to go pick up this hammer and then we're going to go retreat back down to where we just were. And then down here is going to be a, uh, a bottle we need to break open. So we're going to go ahead and put the hammer down. We're going to go and put it in my uh, stash here on the shelf. And then go back, pick up this bottle, put it in this uh, vise here. And this will break the bottle. All right, so we're going to go pick this up and go on a little road trip. And we're going to exit this building. And we're just going to stay along the, uh, the docks here. And then we're going to see the projector kind of uh, broken down right in front of us here. Uh, in the building just to the left here, go in through this door. And you need to cut open this thing with the bottle. So once that's cut open, we're going to go and go grab our hammer. And then there's going to be some pipes uh, along the outside of the building if we go around to the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the uh, right one uh, four times. And then we're going to hit the left one twice and then the right one twice. And that is going to restore the projector. Again, make sure you interact with the projectors after they are built. Now also, once you've done that, it's going to reveal the knocker statue location. So I'm just going to quickly show you. It's right behind us on this minecart that appears after you do the uh, finish this puzzle. Now I will show you those uh, uh, that again later when I show you all the knocker statues. Now the second projector is going to be uh, in the doctor's office, which is underneath the cinema. So we're just going to follow this path. And once we go up these, uh, uh, or right before you go up these stairs, turn right and go up the little set of stairs and come inside of here. Now, once you're in here, uh, you got this kind of appointment book thing here. And we're going to type in the name of Vicky, V-I-C-K-I. And then in the next box, we're going to type in the number 30. And then there's going to be a time in the final box, and we're going to put in 1215. Now, I don't know if you noticed the little bell that's on this desk. Uh, we will return to this later and have to hit that little bell. But for now, we're just going to ignore it. All right, so once you've done that, we can go upstairs. So we're going to go up this way and go through this door over here and go up the stairs once more. Now once you're up here, you can go in through this door and we're going to grab a piece of paper, some Morse code paper. It's going to be inside this little box. You have to be standing on the right side of it to get it. So pick up this uh, Morse code paper. And then we're going to go into the next room over and put it in the Morse code machine here. Uh, 
And once it's done printing, we're going to uh, go ahead and pull this out, take it again. And then our uh, one last thing we need to do is go down below and type in the words churchyard on this uh, blackboard right here. And this will be the final thing you need to do to restore the second projector. I was stopped at the red light. So once you've done that, of course, go back upstairs and you will find the projector assembled for you. Again, interact with it. And we will move on to uh, projector number three. Now, the third projector, this is going to require you to get a key in the crow's nest in the uh, Pinwheel Harbor. So I got to exit this area, go back to Pinwheel Harbor. And the crow's nest is that bar. Uh, there was a projector on the upstairs of that uh, of that building so hopefully that's still there that you didn't take it if you took it maybe it's in your uh, your display case if not it might be somewhere else but if you've never touched it it's going to be inside the the crow's nest basement all right so this is the crow's nest again going to the basement here and you're gonna see it sitting on the shelf over here there was a ribbon to the right of us at one point. Of course, we've uh, collected all those memory fragments earlier. Now we're going to go uh, back into the Pinwheel Village here. And then we're going to go to the Cider House, and that's going to be up by the church. So it's pretty much a, it's a, a pretty lengthy run from where we were. This entire area is kind of a it's kind of a maze, but it's uh, kind of circular. Uh, there is this uh, center area with the monument. We will be visiting that quite a bit, uh, a little bit later. And we go through that gate here to the right there. There's, it's going to lead us to the uh, schoolyard, or the school, which we will be uh, visiting a couple times during this uh, video. And then, of course, up on the uh, north end over here is going to be the church. But here's where the Field Cider House is located. Uh, you need that key in order to gain entry into this building. So all we need to do is make a, a bottle of cider. And to do that, we're going to go upstairs. There's going to be a little machine here you can interact with. Hit the left button. Then it's going to drop down and pick up some apples outside. And then interact with this lever here twice. And that is going to bring the apples towards us. Come back to this little machine, hit the release button. And then we're going to come over here and interact with this switch right here. And it's going to drop the apples down. You can see the broken projector I just walked right past. Hit this lever here. It is going to create uh, the cider, I, I, I suppose. And now we need to get a bottle. So we're going to go outside, go into this little building over here. And the only thing of uh, interest in here is this uh, bottle here. So we're going to pick that up. And then we're going to fill this up. And there's going to be just past the stairs, there's going to be a little machine we can put it in. And then, of course, turn the wheel. Now, one last thing you need to do is pick this bottle back up and then put it into the crates just to the left on the other side of the stairs over here. And once you've done all this, for whatever reason you need to do this for, uh, it is going to assemble the third projector. So again, go ahead and interact with that, and we will move on to number four. So number four, from this uh, the cider house here, we are going to go uh, towards the church, uh, to I'm sorry, towards the school. There's the Pinwheel Inn. We will be visiting that a little bit later. So we're going to go over here, and on the Pinwheel Inn sign, there was a tic-tac-toe board. And what you need to do is copy that uh, right here. So what you're going to do is type in the top line. Uh, you're going to put in an X, O, and then an X. Emily, Dave, Jane. 
And in the middle line, you're just going to put an uh, X there, and then you're going to put two O's on the bottom left and in the bottom center. That'll open up this little briefcase and revealing a paintbrush. So we're going to go inside the school from here. It's the little things at first. The things that were already easy. And then once we're inside the school, we're going to have to go through these two doors. The one on the right leads to uh, where you use the paintbrush. Before we do that, we're going to go into this uh, into this classroom here. And we've got to type in two more things. Uh, in number 10 here, we're going to type in the word spanner, S-P-A-N-N-E-R. And then the book of the week is going to be The Grumpy Knocker. And it would help if I learned how to spell. <laughs> and sometimes the data uh, entry, when you type, hit X, for some reason doesn't register the character, so that doesn't exactly help. But once you get that, uh, we're going to go back into the uh, next room to the left here. And all we need to do is use the paintbrush on this wall a few times, and it'll open up a secret door. Now behind this door uh, to the left, we have to open up a... Uh, uh, another lock combination lock and the code for that is going to be 0911 now if I look to the left and I didn't but there's going to be a voicemail recording inside the desk behind me again I will show you all the voicemail locations there's two of them in this uh, area alright so once you open that up grab the sheet music you need that sheet music for the next one so grab that sheet music and then go interact with the projector which is going to be near the doorway here. Right. And then we're going to go on to number five. Number five is kind of complicated. you got to go to a whole bunch of different places. But with the sheet music in hand that we got during the fourth projector, there's going to be a building near the uh, cinema house here. It's going to be this green building. And inside of here is going to be a piano. And just to the right of that here is a tuning fork. So we're going to go pick this up. So we need that and the sheet music unfortunately so we're going to go back into the display case here and we're gonna put down the tuning fork all my shelves are full so I did get the hoarder trophy for doing that so we're just gonna put the tuning fork down grab the sheet music there were a bunch of notes on the top of that sheet music that is part of the puzzle but I will give you the solution for that so you won't have to write those down or memorize it but once we've got the uh, sh uh, the sheet music and the tuning fork, we're going to go to the church, which is going to be back over by the cider house. And inside of that church, uh, we need to put the sheet music on a piano, and then we need to tune the piano. And then eventually, at the end of this puzzle, we're going to have to ring some bells at the top of the church. And you have to ring the bells in the order of the notes that were on that sheet music. But first things first, it's, there's going to be uh, quite a bit of traveling involved in this uh, in this projector puzzle, unfortunately. But we're going to go into the church, and you will see the uh, the piano up on the right side. So go ahead and place the sheet music right on the center here. Now we need the uh, tuning fork. So we're going to go back and pick that up. Now use the tuning port, uh, fork on the piano. You can see it right there on the top. It's tuning it right now. And then once it's done tuning, uh, interact with the actual keys of the piano. All right, the next thing that we need to do is go ring uh, a, a bunch of different bells that are uh, throughout the entire uh, village here. So the first bell we're going to ring is going to be at the cider house, which is just outside if you take the back door away. And as you enter this, uh, the cider house here, just uh, to the left here on the other side of the door is going to be the bell. So go ahead and interact with that. Now from this location, we're going to kind of go back to the, uh, the school. 
there was probably another path that I could have taken to it that would, would have been a little quicker, but uh, nonetheless, I'll get there. And this bell is going to be just right outside the door here. All right, so now we're going to kind of go back towards the opposite end of this area. And we're going to go towards the docks area. There's going to be a bell in the uh, the first building that we went into, uh, right on the docks, right outside Pinwheel Export. And it's going to be just inside the door. Here's the building once again. So as soon as you enter, just look on the back side of this door up here. And there's only one more, and that's going to be back in the doctor's office. I mentioned the little bell, the ringer on the on the desk. So we're just going to go and interact with that. And then we'll have to head back to the church after that and ring the uh, bell towers in a in this uh, the order on that was on the sheet music. All right, so that's it. So I'm going to uh, head back to the church. Just going to kind of skip forward here a little bit. At this point, hopefully you guys know how, you know your way around. So we're going to go back in here. If you go in through the back entrance here, there's going to be some stairs going up. And then once you're up here, you're going to see a bunch of ropes. There's going to be four of them specifically. And you need to hit these in the order of the notes on the top of the uh, the sheet music. So the note order, as you can see, as I put it on the top left, is F, F, G, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, G, and F. Again, if you hold, if you hit L1, it'll actually um, reveal the name of the note in case you forgot which one was which. The melody of our lives may have changed everything. So there we go. Uh, the projector is finally restored. So we're going to go upstairs here. And a cool thing about this video is we're going to get a bunch of gold trophies. So here's going to be the first gold trophy we're going to earn. And that is for restoring all of the projectors. This is it. I've gone right back to square one and reintroduced the music box. With all the progress we've made. There you go, Lucid. All right, so let's go and take a look at the ribbons. There's eight ribbons as there, in, as there is in all the different le uh, levels, areas. And since I'm by the church, let's go ahead and start with the one by the church. Uh, then we're going to go over to the cider house. And there's going to be a one along the back side. You can see it right in front of me from the angle that we're coming at. It's noticeable. All right, now we're going to go and travel down the road here. And I'm in a counterclockwise motion around this area. And you can see the next one's right in front of me there. If you're coming up this road from the other way, uh, it's very well hidden. You wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't see it. There's a couple of them here that are actually a little tricky to find. Uh, some of the other ones across the game are, are pretty easy to spot. Of course, the ribbons are the only thing you technically have to do, uh, the only task in the village to, to actually complete and beat the game. You don't have to do any of the other stuff, restore the projectors or anything. All right, so now we're going to travel back down. We're heading, you see the cinema in front of us, but there's this bridge here, and we're going to go down this way. And then hang a left here, and we're going to find another ribbon. Then we're going to head... Uh, in front of the cinema, and there's going to be another one. Did I ever tell you that my sister suffered so that's the cinema building right in front of us. So we're going to go down these stairs. To the left there was the uh, entrance to the doctor's office. So just across from that, you're going to pick this up. You probably saw this at some point during your travels through the level. The next one is going to be uh, one you probably already picked up. It's going to be uh, at the location of the first projector I restored right here on the docks. You see the projector right in front of us.
All right, now for the last two, I'm going to go uh, to the, the center of the area where the kind of the tall monument was located. You can see it right in front of us. And then you're going to find one in here. I believe it's to the left. There it is. Now, the next one, it can be kind of a little tricky to find uh, from this uh, monument area. If you look and find the lighthouse out in the distance, that is kind of the direction you need to go. I'm looking for it and don't see it. But I do see it out there in the distance. So that is the direction I want to go. Just to make sure you got your bearings. And then you can go around these houses here down this passage and then turn right and then you'll uh, run into it and we will get our eighth and final ribbon and of course we will get the trophy associated with that so another gold trophy this one called defragmentation all right so let's look at the knocker statues if you remember the first projector we we restored uh, once you restore it this mine cart will come here and it'll be right on top of it i mentioned that earlier in the video so go ahead and pick that one up you probably already did. Another one is going to be outside the Pinwheel Cinema here. There's this orange house. You want to go into this orange house. There's no other reason to go into this house other than to get this knocker statue. So we're going to go up to the kid's bedroom, and you'll find one on the shelf inside of here. Let's get out of here. Now the final knocker statue, which will get us yet another gold trophy, is in the Pinwheel Inn. But in order to get this one, you're going to need to get a combination dial. So we have to open up a safe. Unfortunately, it's missing the dial. So we're going to go into the school, which is this way. And then we're going to uh, find it into a little kind of a secret hidden area. So once you're in here, you can interact with these wood panels here. And this will reveal a little cubby hole that we can go into. If you look around the corner, you'll find a dial. There's also another dial in a, in the church as well. So we're going to go now take this and we're going to go into the inn. There's also going to be a voicemail recording. So as soon as we get this knocker statue, we will start the, uh, the voicemail locations. Does this carpet smell? All right, so once you're in the inn, there's actually a couple entrances in which you can enter this building from. And depending on which entrance you go into, you might be on a different floor, so it can be disorientating. But what you need to do is just keep going up, not to the very top floor, but into a room here, and you will find the, uh, the safe. So go ahead and put the dial on there, and we're going to uh, type in 1 four, one, zero. And there's our final knocker statue and yet another gold trophy. What they had just seen. When they got home, their mother was standing outside the door waiting for Now, as I mentioned, there was the, a voicemail recording in this building. So if you found this room, all you need to do is go up one flight of stairs. And then if you go into this room here, you'll see it right there on the, on the, uh, nightstand there so go ahead and Answer interact with again. that really? now I mentioned earlier in the video there was a voicemail recording in the school this was in the secret area behind the wall that you painted so we're gonna go ahead and pick that up now I used to love art lessons and uh, how exciting we're gonna get yet another gold trophy <sighs> okay this this is getting ridiculous I, I can't now the last thing we need to do is restore the, uh, one final plaque, and this is if you go back down to the docks, uh, very close to where the first projector re re we uh, restored, which you can see right there. We got the knocker statue right there as well. If you come over here, you'll see a closed gate, uh, and behind here you can see out in the distance a plaque, so go ahead and hit L2 to hold your lantern, and then hit R2, and you'll restore that, and get the final trophy and the final collectible. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.